hi everyone and welcome to the channel welcome if you're new i'm stacy and today day number eight of world watercolor month Woo -woo, i'm doing it okay so this puts me caught up which is fabulous um and we are going to work in the larger of the two watercolor um journals that i made and uh just gonna flip to my page that I'm I created for this one I want to tape the edges on this one though for sure for sure I don't know why I suddenly turned into a valley girl but there you go oh my gosh I'm running out of tape I didn't think I'd ever run out of tape I had that whole top drawer full at the beginning of the year so the prompt for today was mechaniz mechanism and I have no idea whatsoever what to paint. No clue. And then I did the, well, I'm reading a sci-fi book. <laughs> so I've got sci-fi on the brain. And then I did this one for day four. I thought, well, let's do the sci-fi theme. We'll do, um, aliens have all kinds of mechanisms as do humans, right? especially in the stories um so let's it doesn't want to stick so let's embrace that and roll with it and create something so i drew a little spaceship with my watercolor pencil and if i can get this to stick down a little friction there we go there we go. All right. We are going to, I want to cover that up. I don't want to mess that up. So maybe that little sheet of paper, little sheet of paper to put over the top of that guy so we don't mess him up. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and paint in our scene. Just going to spritz and go crazy this time. I was thinking about doing the space shuttle. That's what this mark is. Um, and changed my mind. So, here we are. Like it taking off. But then I changed my mind. Like I didn't feel, I'm not feeling that. And I don't wanna. <laughs> so I didn't. I put some yellow back here. Rocket fuel coming off of our our ship like that, and then um, how do I hand how do I want to handle this? I'm going to use black. I'll show you my palette. These are my granulating watercolors. I'm going to put black. Just a touch of water. More black in this circle. In the muddy part. Like that. And then some blue. And some of the purple. Purple's not re-wetting really very nicely today. I'm a little perplexed. These usually re wet really well. There it goes. Let's just scrub at it a little bit. I'm going to put some purple in here. Blue and purple, black. And when these dry and granulate and spread out, it's going to look super cool. We'll come along the top edge. I'm going to paint over that planet right there. And go around our rocket. Grab some more black. Pure pigment and just drop it in. And this is the back of the paper, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to handle all this action. Maybe not quite as dark over here. 
we can get it nice and dark down here through here try to go around this planet like so and granulating colors are so fun there are going to be all kinds of textures and craziness happening in the sky. If I could get it rolling, it just doesn't want to play. There. There's a little bit of purple going on. Like that. Okay, we'll leave that alone and let it dry. I'm going to let it dry all the way through and then we're going to um, come back and do our planets. A little carried away there. This one's alright. And our spaceship. Right? So let's let that dry. I really want to take a heat tool to it. See how it's See the granulation already? That's so cool. You know what we could do? We could take... That's not a firm brush. This is a firm brush. A touch of gouache. While it's still wet. A little more. Just a little more gooey than that. And drop in some bright spots. Like that. Kind of random. They're not going to dry super bright like they are right now, but I dig them. I dig it. Not sure why, but I'm really feeling the need to put this this planet in right here. Oops, more dark. See, tempting fate. Tempting fate. Let's fix this corner. Motorcycle. I was feeling the need for speed, that's right. I'm super impatient. So what am I going to do? I am going to... I'm going to go do something. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. We are all dry. Um, put my glasses back on. All dry. There's a little bit of wetness on the side there. Okay. So we're all dry. Super granulating. I think I might want to put a glaze of just regular watercolor over the top. Um, when I say regular, I mean my core, my big paintbrush though, there it is, my core watercolors. I'm going to go ahead and clean off this palette right here. just going to, because I want it to be a pure, like, purpley blue glaze. Not, I don't want it to have browns in it. No browns for you. There we 
we go. Okay. And then take my dioxazine purple. I'm gonna zoom out while I'm mixing so you can see what I'm mixing. Well, maybe not quite that far. I'll pull this down. Take my dioxazine purple. This is what I usually do for a nighttime sky or a and my indigo and a touch of neutral tint. That creates this wonderful dark color that I just really like. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take off most of my and just do a light glaze to kind of A, unify and B, get rid of some of that granular sparkle that's going on back there. Yes. Light, lightly touching the paper. Lightly, lightly touching the paper. I don't want to mess up all the granulation. But I do feel like we need a little glaze. Like that. Kind of solidify things a bit. Right? Okay. Wet right there. And then the box. So that it gives us a little bit of sparkle back there. Okay? Okay. And another thing that happened when I wasn't paying attention to the page is my planet over here got a little she got a little crazy so I'm gonna wet this dab it a little bit pick up some of that wetness Drop on the white gouache, like that, to make her bright. And then, on top of that, we're going to do, what should we do? Maybe a little green? Some greens? Like that. I know. Maybe just some touches of indigo. Like that. There. I like that better. Okay. Now, let's do this guy. Some water. I love this paper. It's been a while since I've used really nice watercolor paper and I forgot I used the really nice watercolor to make these pads and I'm just gonna drop in some of this I'm gonna grab some of this some water I don't want to go all the way to the edge because it is going to bleed. Right? Like that. How cool does that look? I'll put in some of the rose color. Here and there. Haphazardly. Mm 
some little touches of white gouache. Maybe there's an atmosphere on the planet or something. Who knows? <coughs> Alright. I think that's all I'm going to do with that. I'm going to leave it alone. Now let's do our spaceship. And then we can flick some stars. And take the tape off and see what happens. Alright, our spaceship needs to be a color though. Alright, she needs to pop off the page a bit. Uh, ooh. Should we metallic her? Over some metallic and white? <gasps> what a good idea! I gotta clean off the top of my pearl white though, because it's it's kind of blue right now. <laughs> I can. There we go. And then we can spritz her and get her going. Get our metallics rolling over here. So I'm thinking. Come here. Why is it so hard to get these out of here lately? That's not the gold I want. I want this one. This gold and this pearlescent white, which has just a touch of blue in it still, but that's okay. So I'm going to take the pearlescent white and we're going to go ahead and give our ship a once over. Right down to her window right here, or screen, or whatever it is. Oh no, we don't want to go back that far. To here. Okay. Take her gold. Put it on the back half like this. Give her a, a stripe. And down here is some sort of viewing box or station or something. And then we'll take black. And get her fins in. Right. There's some kind of writing on the side of her. I just feel the need to do those kinds of things to ships, right? Let's see. One sec. There it is. Alright. Get her. Let's go out here. Most of the one right here. They need a viewing port, right? So that's that. And there's another down here. And then most of our paint off. Here. 
birds. Okay. And then what else should we do? What else should we do? Got this this one's down too far. Dang it. It's all right. We're just going to leave it where it is. Good like that? All right. Let's do some stars and call it good. Let's see. How am I? Oh, duh. I need my paintbrush. Let's clean it off real good, though, because we don't want gray stars, right? We want white stars. Where's my wash? Should we do gouache or should we try this? Let's try this first. Ooh, alright. Seeing those little white dots in the in the background? They didn't dot dry um like super oops. No, I don't want that in this one. Too late. Let's grab some gouache. Just a dollop. Okay. Clean off the iridescent stuff. pricks on those white spots. And it'll make it look like distant stars. Really glowing, right? Maybe there's a grouping of stars through here. Maybe there's a grouping over here. Okay. Let us see here. Gentle. There's a bird just chirping his little heart out out there. It's too vibrant. Now we're done. Let's take our tape off and see what we got going on. I think that was under 30 minutes, right? I feel like it was. Let's separate. This is the fun part, right? The, the big reveal. Ta da! Oh, yeah, alright. Fun. I kind of dig it. So, mechanism. 
This is the mechanism that they're using to come visit us. Are we ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> we think we are. But the reality of aliens visiting our planet is kind of terrifying. Okay. There we go. Now we're good. What do you guys think? It's fun, right? Let's flip our, our silly birds out of the way. And uh, in there. Yeah. Great granulating texture. Got a little bit of a sweeping motion going on a little bit, but that's all right. I'm not going to worry about it. It is a fun painting. I dig it. I think it turned out cute. What do you guys think? Hmm? Let me know. I'm waiting like you're going to answer me. <laughs> I need a nap. Uh, I'm going to stop there. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for sticking around if you did, for painting along if you did. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave comments, all that jazz. It really does help the channel grow and I appreciate it. Bye!